Hey everybody, it's Jeremy with Stay Cool Climate Control and today I want to talk a little bit about what a rollout switch is. So previously we talked about a high limit switch, what it does, how it shuts the furnace down and all that. And today I want to talk about the rollout. So the rollout switch is similar to a high limit switch. It is a temperature switch. The main difference between the high limit and the rollout switch is going to be rollout switches are manually resettable. So there's this little button right here that you physically have to push in with your finger in order to close the switch and let it reset. This is very important because in the event of a rollout, we don't want your furnace just to restart. If the furnace restarts during a rollout, then there could be some very bad things that happen, such as insulation catching on fire, the furnace overheating, the furnace pumping carbon monoxide into the home, and various other things. So again, with the rollout, you're actually gonna to have to go into the furnace, press this button down and reset the switch. Now at our company, a technician is not allowed to just go to the furnace and reset the switch without fully diagnosing the system and figuring out why the switch tripped in the first place. Typically, if the rollout switch is tripped, then there's another major issue going on with the furnace and we wanna figure out why. So as you can see in our practice system, the rollouts are located here and here, directly above the burning compartment. The idea of the rollout switch is to sense a flame rollout if it doesn't go into the burner compartment in the heat exchanger like we want it to, and it actually starts rolling back out this direction. Again, unlike the limit switch, the rollout switches have to be manually reset. The limit switch in the back will reset itself once the temperature goes down enough in order for the furnace to run, but these switches up front must be reset manually because in the event of a rollout, there's usually something major going on with the system that requires the attention of a professional. So again, I never recommend just resetting the rollout switches because you could have some problems on your hands. In this short clip, you can see a furnace rollout happening. The flames are actually coming back out of the burners instead of going into the heat exchanger. This rollout is caused by a crack in that number one heat exchanger cell on the right side. Our technician, Nathan, located a crack at the burner plate and then upon farther investigation realized the cell was cracked and that's what's causing that rollout right there. And luckily the rollout switch did trip and stop this unit from running. 